My name is Ben Newhouse, and I'm the course author and instructor for the orchestration and music composition for film and television courses uh, for Berkeley Online. Orchestration 101, it, it's, it's one of my favorite courses, to be honest. It's, what it does is it goes through the orchestra and all the orchestral instruments, talks about what they're good at, um, you know, simple things, what their ranges are, how to write down the parts uh, for, the, for the actual players. Also, what musical ideas that that given instrument is good at. The first two lessons in orchestration one address some sort of basic fundamentals in orchestration. So the first lesson looks at some of the MIDI issues, uh, what samples are, what sampling libraries are, how we work with them and interact with them. Gives a foundation in a lot of the technology things that have become part of this subject. The second is a foundation in notation, what clefts instruments read and transposition and things like that. So those first two lessons are about building a, a foundation. The next section of the course is we go through each instrument uh, in sequence. So we start with the strings and look at their ranges and, and what they're good at doing and so on. And then we go to the brass and then we go to woodwinds and then we go to percussion. And then at the end of the course, we put all that together, uh, look at examples of full orchestra and how all the instruments work together and at once and also write music for full ensemble. This course is for anyone who wants to learn how to write music for orchestra. There have been people who are violinists who want to then write for full orchestra. There have been people who are rock guitarists who are in a touring band and things like that. By the end of the course, you'll be able to write music for full orchestra, and that means both making a score that is a full score you can give to a conductor, um, and then the parts to all the players, and they can play it in a live performance or a recording session, and also make a mock-up using samples. Uh, so you have an end product that you can actually make in your home studio that sounds like an orchestra. You can use that for a variety of purposes. If you're going in the direction of film and television, you can use that as demos. You can even use that as an, an end product for smaller budget projects. And you can use that as a demo for concert music as well if you're talking to conductors and orchestras about playing your music.